not the best start to the day. I've um, been sitting here trying to get this engine going for about 45 minutes. First time this has happened to me ever. It's usually first or second pop, so I'm um, taking a few bits and pieces off and played around. I think I'm getting close. Um, yeah, we're having issues in here, so I think, um, I think we'll come right. Let it sit for a while. Just check that it's not um, flooded now. I've been pissing around for so long and hopefully we can get out on the water. It's a beautiful morning. It's going to be a beautiful day. So update you hopefully on the water otherwise it's going to be a short of oh. <clears throat> well I'm not getting anywhere got some uh, French dude who's going to try and help me Let's see how we go well I've got a bit of a crash course in uh, two stroke motors and, and stuff quite simple spark clubs spark plugs um, they're pretty filthy and stuff we've taken them off fingers crossed it's something as simple as that um, I think it is just um, Severely flooded, but um, yeah, fingers crossed. Woohoo! This guy, this guy. Morgan, Morgan is an absolute legend. Woohoo! Breach. Um, we're going to go and get a closer look, see if we can, um, without getting too close. It's pretty cool. There he is. He's just um, having a breath. Quick puff of uh, water coming up. Pretty cool. We'll try and sneak in. Woohoo! There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure what type of whale we've got here, but he's very close here, and the water spout's coming up. Pretty cool to see. Love it. I was out here, I saw whales in the same place. It must be a bit of a whale highway, something like that. Should be very close now. Woohoo! Here we go. We don't want to run him over, but we'll get in for a closer look. Woohoo! Awesome, there we go. Wicked pinnacle coming up out of the water. Very cool. It's pretty deep water all around here and um, it's got some good currents. Always a good thing, a good match. Currents and a bit of water, deep water next by. So um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty fishy little spot. The water's looking clean. I'm so keen to get in. I haven't been spear fishing uh, for quite a while now, over a month. I've just been um, 
like trolling and trying to shoot a marlin, which can be quite uh, tedious and then boring at times. But um, yeah, so no way to rip in. See you underwater. myself on the boat in a, in a deep area like this um, where I can't really anchor up I'll just connect my uh, gun to the front of the boat and just do a bit of a drift dive so um, the wind's pushing this way and I think the current is too so we'll just drift around this island and see what we can find there might be some um, kingies or some snapper or nice big fat coeys we'll just see what we can see eh? And, um, yeah let's do it gear up jump in and was just greeted with the most amazing blue water. I hadn't seen clear water like this in New Zealand for so long. Um, at least about 20 meters in some spots. Um, awesome, awesome. Just incredible visibility and big balls of bait fish all over the place. Um, I started bombing down onto this pinnacle here in the hopes of some predators lurking around all these bait fish. The place was just covered in these big rays, all just perched up on the rocks. It was amazing, really cool to see. Spent some time just warming up the lungs, diving down onto this pinnacle and checking out all the cool rays sitting there and whatnot. Really, really cool spot. Though there were lots of bait fish, I think they were a little jack mackerel and thousands of these demoselles and whatnot, um, there just weren't any kingfish coming in. Generally, you want to see some schools of kawai and kahiru, that's when you really start getting onto the kingfish here in New Zealand. Just perched up on this ledge, scoping out the area, it seemed very fishy. Um, these kingfish rolled in. I could have topped them, they were well legal, but uh, that wasn't the aim of the morning. I'm after snapper and sure enough I'd see some later in the day anyways. After diving down on this bommy, I, I just knew there was some fish on the other side, I could sense it. Um, and so this kingfish rolled through, I backed up, I didn't want to cause it too much of a scene, and came back down again, creeping around and just, just wasn't stealth enough. Almost got the shot off, I was waiting for him to turn broadside, but he just shot off too fast and uh, missed the chance on this nice snapper.
broke open a few kinna, chucked them back over in the vicinity uh, where I saw the snapper, hoping to bring it back in or, a, or another one. Um, left that for a good 10 minutes, but nothing showed up, so I cruised on, on to the next spot. I decided to work along the shallows uh, with the aim of seeing a, a snapper parked up in a gutter early morning. It was very surgy and washy which made it really hard work for this type of hunting but uh, just kept pushing. Plenty of butterfish around so I thought I'll leave them now, grab a few on the way back to the boat and uh, just try and get that snapper. A nice little surprise, I saw two squid or calamari um, just hovering it over in this gut so I crept down over and smashed one with the roller. Bit overkill but I uh, <laughs> really wanted one, don't see these very often. The squid uh, started pumping out ink and its de defense mechanism. That was a bit too late, had a big steel shaft right through its torso. So yeah, I was stoked. That meant um, squid rings for dinner. The eating quality uh, difference of a fresh squid like this versus something you buy in the supermarket or like, it goes with all fish. It's just, it's just day and night. These fresh squid are just incredible eating, beautiful. He still was trying to get rid of me with his ink, so um, put him out of his misery and job done. I didn't want to venture too far from the boat so I uh, turned around and headed back towards that direction and came across plenty of butterfish sitting in this area um, so yeah took two and they're a nice big fat fish if you don't know about butterfish they're basically a vegetarian fish eating kelp and whatnot so um, yeah they're very very healthy and just beautiful eating I love them crumbed up in a burger or a wrap they're just stunning flesh, nice soft white flesh. Well, bit of an update. Um, yeah, he saw that first rocker jumped in on um, plenty of kingies floating around, mostly small. A um, couple of them were illegal, but I just wanted something a bit bigger, and um, I didn't want to spook with any snapper. Um, that was the aim on that rock. Saw that nice, uh, nice looking snapper. It was just out of range. Uh, probably could have got it, but uh, still want to risk, um, you know, injuring the fish being a rip off. So let it go. Anyways. Um, few snap around, spooked another big one just down here and um, yeah plenty of butterfish around so got uh, two nice butterfish, just love butterfish um, and got a squid so I'm um, pretty happy gonna make some uh, calamari who's still inking out so um, uh, that's gonna be beautiful beautiful later nice squid pretty happy with that so um, yeah, I'm going to move around the corner and um, just keep exploring some new coast. It's only my third time out this area, so um, it's all pretty new to me. Hence spook and fish, not sure where the ledges are and, and whatnot. Anyways, carry on. I 
I had another hunt for some crayfish, only finding small ones, and then just kept looking around, creeping over ledges for snapper and, and whatnot, just exploring, just really satisfying diving in such clean water. It was awesome. I moved a bit further along, found a nice fishy area, so I decided to drop the anchor and have a cruise around and see what I could find. On one of my first drops down, I noticed the tails of some kingfish swimming off in the distance, so started strumming the rubbers, made a racket with a spear gun, made some grunts and uh, yeah, managed to bring them back in. Shame they were too small, really. A couple of potentially legal ones, but uh, mostly small fish. If you look closely, there's a nice, nice snapper just cruising into the kelp here. It was half asleep, and uh, I dropped down motionless, just sinking on top of the snapper, but I just could not see him once he went into the weeds. I couldn't believe it would have been an easy easy shot but got the better of me there and uh, got away stopping for a bite to eat have a bit of lunch get some energy back in me and um, yeah we'll make a plan spooked a lot of snapper hasn't been my most successful morning on the snapper but um, yeah we'll see how we go heaps of small rat baby um heaps of small rat kingies around um, nothing sizable yet so i'll definitely shoot a kingfish if i see a, a good size one um, other than that there's plenty of butterfish so we can always get a few more of those today yeah we'll just keep uh keep exploring it's pretty cool beautiful day no swell very minimal. Sunny. No wind. After a quick banana, jumped back in and found the sweet spot. This area was just teeming with fish life. Awesome to see massive schools of silver drummer. Um, these are okay to eat, some people think, not my cup of tea. And these big schools of st yellow striped fish, the kahiru, they were all lit up, which usually means there's a predator nearby, like a kingfish, uh, which there were, but nothing big came in, so didn't shoot anything and uh, moved on once again. beautiful winds died right off just calm as anything beautiful diving and the water's very clean had about 20 meters um, on the other island there so yeah it's awesome awesome let's try and get a few more fish before we head back I cover some fair distance along the coast and uh, finally managed to find some nice weed lines. Uh, that's where the weed, as you can see here, meets the sand and generally that's the concentration of fish life and target species uh, we're after here in New Zealand. Um, down below here you can see some pori, not my target species, I think they taste like dishwashing liquid. 
other people will love them. It's all good. Um, so yeah, let's get diving down, scanning, searching, and uh, yeah, finally came across a nice fish as you'll see below. spotted the lone boarfish just resting there from the surface and uh, the unmistakable shape. Diving down directly from above always the best uh, option generally and yeah sunk down closer and closer and made sure I had a really really good safe shot. Whack! Swum the fish back up to the surface and uh, yeah, pretty happy. First time in about two years since I've uh, got my last ball fish, so very stoked. These fish use their big snouts to dig up worms on worm beds uh, during the day and often they'll just come in to rest up um, on the weed lines there and patchy uh, weed lines as such. Uh, that's where we find them and get shafts into them. Pretty happy with that. <sighs> nice boar fish. Whew. <sighs> Lucky he was quite tame and didn't, didn't do a runner on me, so um, yeah, beautiful eating. Can't wait. Haven't got one of these in about two years, so stoked. Anyways, we'll keep hunting and we'll try and pick up one more. Wow, snorkeling without a snorkel is very hard. I guess you can't call it snorkeling, just swimming. Swimming's hard. Pretty happy, anyways. Made it back and got a nice boar fish, Bory. Um, yeah, stoked. It's been um, about two years, didn't get one last season. And um, yeah, so happy to get a nice one at that as well. So I'm gonna. I'm going to weigh them because we're having a bit of a uh, fish summer shootout at work competition. I'll gut them and, and put them on ice and get that flesh set. So um, yeah, beautiful eating if you haven't had one already. Alright, find my other snorkel and um, back into it. Um, couldn't find any more boris, so um, yeah, we're just having a break, having a banana, get some MG, and then we're going to cruise on again. Red, yeah, I like to get a kingfish, um, so yeah, we'll find some points or some current, try and find some action somewhere. But it's quite quiet everywhere. It's very, um, very dead today. Um, beautiful visibility underwater, but yeah, quite quiet. Just heaps of small rats everywhere. So. Um, Nice day out, we'll cruise on. Got fish anyways. How good? Not often you get days like this, that it's just.
cruising along to a next set of uh, islands I just find this big work up in the middle here just fish everywhere on the surface boil up whatever you want to call it there were just thousands of fish um, feeding on krill so I tied the gun to the boat jumped in straight into it it's a nice big fat kahawai around Work up here, Kawai, Trevally, and, and whatnot. And it's just like a nice big fat Kawai. Beautiful, smoke that one up. Go again, see if we can get a couple for the smoker. Pretty fun. Probably can't see it in the camera. The surface is alive with um, kahawai mostly, but I just saw some good trevally in there. So I've um, got two kahawai, that's enough for the smoker. I'm trying to get some nice trevally and that's sashimi for dinner. So um, yeah, it's just awesome. You might be able to see them there. You can just see their heads poking up. There's a lot of krill in the area, so I think they're just all feasting. and. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome, fun diving, so I'll get back in there and uh, try and get a trevally before the mayhem dies off. It was quite hard work keeping up with the schools of fish, they were moving so fast and um, didn't see any sign of trevally after that. Um, and then the unmistakable shapes of some big kingfish just rolled in underneath me and I uh, didn't waste any time and a quick duck dive down and got the shaft into this one top down. I thought I would stoned him at this stage but he kicked into life and uh, it was a really really good scrap. I let the reel spool out a bit, got back to the surface and uh, then put pressure straight on that line. Not too much, I wasn't sure if the shaft had gone right the way through, um, so yeah I didn't want to have that fish rip off. Played it for about 10 minutes uh, before I finally got him back up to the surface and uh, could get my hands in his gills. Fisher's friend you can just make out below him was just circling him for the whole 10 minutes. Um, yeah, he was just in shock. He didn't know what's happened to his mate, he didn't know what to do. So, stuck around, it would have been an easy shot for a second diver. Um, 
And yeah, then the battle was on. It, it was a hard uh, decision. Should I yank it up um, fast? There could be some sharks coming in any second, but I just didn't know if that shaft was right the way through that fish, so I had to play him fairly carefully. Finally, finally, I got the fish close enough and uh, got a glimpse of the flopper on the shaft hanging at the bottom of the fish, so yanked him up that last five metres happily. Finally uh, landed the fish, very happy, it was quite a nice kingfish. goodbye to his friend and he was circling there for about five minutes. If someone else was with me they would have had an easy easy shot at a kingfish as well. It's often the case when you shoot one off the friends will circle thinking what's going on, what's going on. Woo! Pretty happy. I've, um, I've got plenty of fish so I'm just gonna cruise in and just check some last bit of coast here. Maybe look for crayfish or something different. <laughs> and um, I need to stay out too much longer, I've got plenty of fish, so what a day, this is awesome, awesome. Got some friends here, can't remember the name of these little fellas, petrels or something. I can just hear the, the boil up over there. Hear the fish just breaking the surface and busting up, it's um, crazy. All action here, so um, yeah, got that fish on ice. Guns finally all uh, sorted. It um, spilled quite a bit of the reel out. It was um, strong fish. They are strong fish, the kingfish, even at a, a younger size like that. It's probably about 15 kilo. It's a good fight. Right, let's go into the shallows and uh, just have a mellow snorkel. Who knows what we'll come across next. couple of dives down, rolled onto my back and just relaxed and uh, I felt that was enough for today. Chilled out with these demo cells for a half a minute or so and uh, called it time to go on my way home. Beautiful, beautiful day out diving in clean water.
that's what ended up after a big smoke that later that day kingfish and kahawai beautifully smoked and um, had some fresh calamari fried up for, for dinner also Well, pretty happy with uh, that day out. Got a mean feed going. Some um, calamari rings, good rings. Just did them in a bit of um, salt pepper, um, lemon, lemon pepper, pinch of um, cinnamon. Secret, secret ingredient. Cheers, Pat, for that one if you're watching. And um, yeah, plenty of smoked fish. So um, we're not going to be going hungry for a few weeks.